Well, howdy there. Welcome to another Q&A Friday. My name is Scott, I am your host. Q&A Fridays are where you send in the questions and I do my best to try and answer them accurately and do some demonstrations. Today, you'll wanna to stay tuned because we're talking about traveling alone, lithium, does it run the rooftop air conditioning system? Uh, a shout out to audience angel, Jerry Minchi, pretty cool Jerry, uh, doing a demo on how to clean uh, the shower drain pump filter. Whew. So you'll wanna stay tuned for that. Um, a lot of audience feedback on the interview I did with uh, Chris from Winnebago about his new babies. That would be the Bolt and the National Park Foundation Edition Travado. And you get a vote. Uh, what do you think about Lily changing her fender colors and fascia front bumper from silver to black? You guys get a vote. Um, so stay tuned, let's get into it right now. So today's first question comes from viewer Jose Santiago. Jose, thanks for the question. Wants to know, are you traveling alone or with a companion? That is a yes and no answer. Some of you that have been watching for a while probably know the answer to this, but the yes is I am traveling alone. That would be solo because my partner Kyle uh, doesn't like this class B RV thing. So I drive, he flies in to join me. We spend uh, several days together, then he flies out. But the am I alone is also answered by no, because you are with me all the time. As I'm going through my day, my uh, travels, my week, um, you are who I'm thinking about and you are who I'm making these videos for. So I certainly don't feel that I am traveling alone because you are with me. And then Kyle joins me on occasion, which is really awesome. So great question, yes and no answer. Thank you, Jose. All right, so next question comes from viewer The End. The End. <laughs> Um, the end wants to know, um, is lithium ion battery suitable for running the air conditioners? Plural. Uh, well, the chassis run, runs off the engine uh, on the chassis, but definitely the uh, rooftop, which is right above me here, uh, that runs off of the lithium uh, Volta Pier 3 uh, lithium energy system. Uh, it's very, very powerful. It's a 47 volt battery and I have a new AC, which is 20 to 30% more efficient. Um, I'm doing a test here in the coming weeks, but that battery pack, energy pack is sufficient enough to run the AC for up to nine hours previously on the old system, which was much less efficient. We'll be doing a, a video on the NDQ non-ducted quiet Coleman Mach AC coming up. So watch for that. Thank you for that question. All right, so the next question comes from viewer MN Traveler, Minnesota maybe. Uh, Minnesota says, hey, thanks for the helpful mod, Scott. Um, I'm reading from the, uh, can't believe how fast that tiny filter clogs up. Question, have you checked the filter under the panel under the sink, under the galley sink? Uh, is the cheesecloth method causing the filter to clog more quickly? Um, the short answer is no. It actually clogs, uh, needs to change that filter less often. I used to change it about every three to five showers. Now it's about every seven to 10 showers. Uh, in fact, let me show you how to clean that uh, shower drain pump filter for you right now. Okay, the first step to cleaning the filter is to empty the cabinet. Let's go. Okay, once the cabinet is empty, the next thing we wanna do is get in under the sink here. Let me show you that. Pull right here, this lifts up the cabinet floor. And this is the shower drain pump right here. And this is where the filter is, Whoop, right here guys. See that? So what I'm gonna do is put a towel under that and then unscrew it. So here's the diagram in the manual. So you can see that, but I'm just gonna screw this thing. It comes off with a, just a twist of the uh, fingers and then we'll uh, clean that bad boy. Okay, just gonna unscrew this right here. It is clockwise. So here's what we're looking at. All right, so in the bathroom here, this is again the comes out of the filter uh, housing thing. Um, this is the filter itself that is in question. Hard 
be one-handed. And I have not cleaned this probably in seven or eight showers. It's actually pretty clean. Um, let's dump out, there's some lint and stuff in the water here. Let's dump that out and give it a rinse. So this is the filter here. So you can see it's actually pretty clean, right? And there's a little bit of hair and lint basically, but it's it's pretty clean. Let's give it a little rinse. And there you go. I should have put that on the garbage, I suppose. Um, okay, so that's it. So then this goes back in here like this. And that goes back into the sink under the sink, I should say, just like this. Again, now we're doing counterclockwise, of course, just thumb screw tighten, you know, hand tighten, don't overdo it. <clears throat> and that's basically all that there is to it. All right, next question, um, really a statement. Uh, comes from Cheryl Kuhn, a very uh, frequent commenter. We certainly appreciate that. Hey, Cheryl, good to hear from you again. Uh, thank you for your comment. Cheryl says, you always have amazing tips. You are the king of Travado living. I appreciate that. Um, I don't feel like a king some days, but uh, hey, I'm just glad to be learning about this stuff and sharing it with you. Um, that's really what this is all about. Um, and in fact, I've made it actually easier, uh, made it far easier for you to find the videos I've already created. If you haven't been to my YouTube channel page lately, um, I have a whole new series of playlists. Playlist is a tool that uh, YouTube allows me to create for you to find videos by category really, really easily. So on there I have like van life, RV living, I have how-to videos, travel videos, play, uh, which is called places, um, people videos. Uh, bottom line is um, I've put the best of many of the 100 plus videos I've made into categories, into playlists for you to find them easier. So hopefully, Cheryl, that will help and uh, you can continue to Enjoy those videos. Next comment comes from Jan, Jan Galbraith. Um, Jan makes a, a suggestion here to um, dispense with buying foaming soap liquid and instead make your own. Um, I love it when I get a practical advice from my audience. You know, I, I continue to strive to do better and better at this whole thing. Wasn't, didn't go to school for this professionally, as you know. Um, uh, so Jan, thank you for that practical tip. As soon as I'm out of the foaming soap liquid, I'm going to try your recipe. Um, Speaking of advice, uh, here's a viewer, John928 um, says here, your commentary is boring and I'd rather see the specs than your faces. Uh, John was referring to the uh, interview and walkthrough that Chris Beanert and I uh, did on, um, on the Winnebago Bolt and the Travado National Park Foundation edition at the Winnebago Grand National Rally recently at their headquarters uh, fairgrounds. And, you know, um, quite a number of folks that said mentioned prefer, prefer to see specs uh, and not an interview. Um, I personally was really excited to have Chris Beanert from Winnebago on the channel walking us through his latest creations. Um, just trying to balance a, a, a mixture of capturing his thoughts while rolling through the rigs. Um, so my apologies that I missed the mark on that interview. Uh, beg your patience, please, as I continue to learn how to do this. And um, thank you for being uh, patient with me and giving your advice. I do take this to heart and try to get better. All right, all right. And the last question today comes from, uh, oh, it's more of a comment. Jason Powell. Jason Powell says, first tip done of the four on the Travado bathroom improvement program. Um, dry lube works amazingly well. Yes, the WD-40 dry lube on the shower door right here. It makes a traumatic difference. Can't tell you how much nicer that is to operate now. Uh, so Jason, thank you for the positive feedback. Really glad to know that you took some of that advice and implemented it. Um, that's really, really well, uh, well done. So until we see you on the next video, I wish you to journey on. So I mentioned the uh, playlists on YouTube. That helps you find content much easier through categ categories of videos. Um, I would like your vote. I am actually going to a, an outfit here in Spokane, Washington, where I've been the last couple weeks on a family visit. 
And I am going to have the, uh, the four corners and the front uh, bumper blacked out. I actually paid extra as a factory option to have the black, which is standard from the factory, ProMaster chassis, um, painted silver. I paid extra money for that. Now I'm actually gonna black those out with a matte vinyl sticker-like material. And, uh, but I wanna know what your, your uh, thoughts are. Do you like them all silver or do you like it all black? I put uh, a vote on the YouTube channel page. So please go there, give it a vote, black or silver, you choose. Um, you let me know your, your thoughts. So with that, I always thank you and I wish you to have a great day.